My vision always was for Melbourne to differentiate itself by becoming the design and architecture capital of Australia and by commissioning these four pavilions I thought we had an opportunity to um, show the people of Melbourne how different each one of those expressions could be and how exciting it could be to be involved with design and architecture. It was very important to me that um, we connect globally with this architecture and design vision and of course my um, initial inspiration for this pavilion was Julia Payton Jones and Hans Ulrich Obreist from the Serpentine Pavilion and they're now in their 15th year of pavilions and now attracting quarter of a million people every year. Amanda's approach to all her buildings, um, particularly one that I most admired was the Birmingham Selfridges store. Her approach was bold, risk-taking, experimental, she worked with materials that had never been worked with before and it seemed like the perfect architect to work with the M Pavilion. Uh, Amanda's response to the garden was probably um, to place a garden in another garden. She just absolutely loved the fact that this, the site was in the Queen Victoria Gardens when she came to visit us in Melbourne for the first time. And her response was to build a tree-like canopy, as you can see here. Amanda's work has long been admired and one of her most important commissions is with the Victoria and Albert renovation at the moment. Uh, the director, Martin Roth, I invited him to come to Melbourne to launch the uh, M Pavilion and it was a great honour to have him here. When I first um, started talking to Amanda about the project, I met her husband, Ben Evans, um, the director of the London Design Festival, and we thought there was an opportunity to further collaborate with the London Design Festival. Ben had a great idea called 25 by Design, attributes in Melbourne that he thought could be inspiring to people who were interested in design and architecture. That was a collaboration we did with Google as well. Our first priority was always about the architecture. Um, the programming of course is um, an integral part, but the fact that we didn't have walls just provided us with more opportunities to be part of the garden.